Yes. You're hiring. <laughs> yes, indeed. What do you do? Oh, like um, my company works in efficient online voting. Online voting? Interesting. So, are you working for the European elections? Certainly <laughs> <laughs> not. Uh, okay. So, do you have any solutions that you already have, like in mind? Yeah. Let me let me um, give you here some of our information for photographers. Ah, what what is this? A machine? <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, like in previous solutions, there was some like FHE and everybody does like a um, thing with their vote and then it's all computed up, but like that sucks because it's like linear in the number of voters and we don't like that. Okay, so like we, we went beyond that. Less than the number of like not linear. Yes. Like something. <laughs> yes. Uh, how, how do you achieve that? I, I see some. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Let me, let me show you. So, <laughs> firstly, like we employed uh, Felix Mendelssohn because we really needed a child prodigy on our team, and maybe you want to be the next. Are you, are you under eighteen? <laughs> okay, you're still four. Um, so like our first protocol approach was to use um, some pre-processing scheme. So in the pre-processing phase, every voter would cast their vote already and then make a computation about all possible outcomes of the other votes into a dynamic lookup table. And then in the online phase, you very efficiently only have to do a lookup. Calculating all possible outcomes? Yes. That's exponential. <laughs> yeah, but pre-processing is free. <laughs> Do you have other solutions? Yes, yes, yes. We, we, we made a new one. So, um, this is what's, the new... What's F-H-C-K-I-B-E? Okay, like we have like homomorphic to compute and like we have some identity based to like encounter double voting. And C-K? Oh, like the encryption is so secure, not even we have knowledge about how it works. <laughs> um, but, but maybe let me like give you the overview, okay? So like we use this YOLO, um, YOSO um, thing to like choose some logarithmically many parties that uh, will have like a voting role. And then they like do the vote. What do you mean? Like not every vote counts? Uh, it's probabilistic. <laughs> <laughs> like, like the outcome is like statistically close. So like we have like a small correctness error, but like a large efficiency gain. Oh, okay, I, I, I guess, uh, do, have you tried this? Like, Let me demonstrate. Okay, yeah. so like we have an important question to resolve. If you have budget cuts, and you have to decide if you want to, at your conference, coffee in the mornings <laughs> or unlimited drinks at the rum session. What do you decide? Random pick. Drinks. Good choice. <laughs> Who's with him? <laughs> yeah, but you, that was not random choice. You chose the first person in the first seat. Yeah, like it's random, but like a fixed seat. <laughs> You, you didn't know you were sitting there, right? <laughs> See? <laughs> I, 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 I'm not sure it's used for crypto here. Okay, for cryptographers, we have like a proof. We have like an oblivious zero knowledge proof of usefulness. <laughs> What's oblivious? The statement like, like, like what is useful and why and how? <laughs> is it extractable? Uh, what? Do <laughs> you know what's useful? No, <laughs> I signed an NDA. <laughs> but maybe, maybe, maybe I can interest you in like a proof of usefulness. Maybe there's something extractable about this. Yeah. <laughs> so, welcome to the team. Woo! Woo!